Did I judge 2019's murder mystery too harshly, or do I simply appreciate Adam Sandler more now? Both could be true, but it's a testament to how much comedy depends on timing and current events. Following a string of lackluster comedies that came out of his initial deal with Netflix, I gave the comedy-slash-thriller a modest two-star rating. However, now I think it deserves an additional half-star as a solid diversion. This may be due to the goodwill generated by projects like Uncut Gems, Hustle, and even the relatively enjoyable Hubie Halloween. Alternatively, it could be that I was in a worse mood four years ago. Whatever the reason, Murder Mystery 2 gets the job done similarly to its predecessor. Once again, Sandler's charm is the highlight, the relatively short runtime, only 90 minutes, keeps Sandler and his writers from indulging in the meandering non-jokes that plague the worst Happy Madison movies, and it provides an effortless escape from the real world for the duration of the film. Maybe this is just what we need in the 2020s, more so than before the pandemic? It's a mystery. Sandler returns as Nick Spitz, a former NYC police officer who has transitioned from traditional police work to crime solving with his wife, Audrey, Jennifer Aniston. After the events of the first film, they have become private detectives, but they are struggling to make a living. The real action of Murder Mystery 2 begins when the Maharaja from the first film, Adil Akhtar, invites Nick to a lavish wedding in a tropical location. Once again, Audrey and Nick are outsiders in a foreign land, which allows for a bit of ugly American's humor, but mostly plays into class humor. In both films, they are struggling to make ends meet and are thrust into worlds with people who throw around millions of dollars like it's nothing. These punipuaros are outsiders not just because they come from a different country, but also from a world that appears to be different when it comes to wealth and privilege. Aniston and Sandler convey this without relying on cheap humor. The Maharaja's wedding is a massive event, complete with group dancing and an elephant entrance. Things go awry when the groom's bodyguard ends up murdered by a cheese knife on the elephant's side, but it's just a distraction for the Maharaja's kidnapping. Who's behind it? Murder Mystery 2 sets up a group of suspects that includes the bride Claudette, Melanie Laurent, an ex-girlfriend named Countess Seco, Jody Turner-Smith, the sister Syra, Kovu Varma, a business partner named Francisco, Enrique Arce, and an ace negotiator named Miller, Mark Strong. However, the mystery of the title is just a way to drive the plot from one silly set piece to another, and before they know it, the Spitzies are racing through the streets of Paris with ransom money and dangling from the Eiffel Tower. Aniston is along for the ride more than ever and isn't given enough to do to match her comedic talent, but she does have an easygoing chemistry with Sandler that's undeniable. These two have been acting together for years, and their unforced dynamic is essential to a film like this. We should never question whether the leads even like each other in a movie like Murder Mystery 2 and that never happens here. They're not exactly deep characters, the breakneck nature of the kidnapping plot doesn't allow for it, but Aniston and Sandler do a lot by relying on their familiarity. Overall, Murder Mystery 2 is a solid diversion that gets the job done in much the same way as its predecessor. The film relies on the chemistry between its two leads, Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston, and a supporting cast that knows how to stay out of the way. While not particularly deep or memorable, the film provides a quick 90-minute escape from the real world and is an enjoyable way to tune out.